What a uh, sweet person. I just Yeah, he was very sweet. He was very uh well, yeah, we were we were extremely close for so many years. For I mean, we, so we long. met when we were like nineteen or something and then we every band we ever, I ever had or every musical thing that we ever did was always he was always you know, it was always him and I. And um <laughs> So it was a kind of funny life, and we went through a lot of different things, yeah. A lot of different things. I look back at your bio. I was just trying to kind of study up a little bit, but I was like, holy cow, I can't believe how many bands you were in before <laughs> the cars. Yeah. And, but yeah, they were, we had a bunch. <laughs> you did, yeah. and the names were great. But the fact that you were with Ben <laughs> most of the time, I just thought that's very special. And he always had lovely things to say about you. But I just, well, I can't even imagine what that must have felt like having him not there with you, but I'm sure in spirit at the induction ceremony. Yeah, most certainly. That was definitely. Did it mean something that it was in Cleveland too? I mean, just by fact yeah. that that's where you were. Tell me. Yeah, it did. I mean, it meant some, well, I lived in Cleveland for a while too. Yeah. And, and then Ben, obviously, that's where I. I didn't meet him there. I met him in Columbus, but I had been to his house in Cleveland and all that, you know. And I knew all about his. Actually, I knew all about his team band, the Grasshoppers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, I knew that, I knew that song. You know, you came into my life with one of my favorite songs. Oh, that's um, cool. It's funny that I met him years, you know, he was like 15 then, I guess, but, and then I met him in Columbus, Ohio. He was, he was booking bands. <laughs> he was like a booking agent. <laughs> and he, said, I, he said, I can play, I can play too. I can play uh, guitar and sing. And I said, really? He said, you know, you should, you should come over to the house, you know, and check it out. And he came over and, um, and he played acoustic guitar and he sang uh, Yesterday. <laughs> oh wow! And I thought you got to be kidding me! <laughs> is that really your voice? That voice is unbelievable. <laughs> or you should join the band. And he said okay. And the next day we was in it, oh. and we were like practicing with him. And uh, he had to get equipment. And, well, at first he didn't even play an instrument for a while. I mean, he could play almost every instrument, but when he started off, he was just a singer. And then he started playing actually keyboards a little bit, and then eventually gravitated to bass. It's almost like whatever instrument you need, a band could play. Oh, isn't that cool? If you need a drummer, he'd play that. Or if you need a keyboard, he'd play that. But uh, he just had this beautiful voice mm -hmm. and uh, presence. And he's a very beautiful person, beautiful guy, very, very good looking. <laughs> yes, but but in also when you meet somebody like that that you love their music so much, I thought this guy I'm sure is going to be a jerk. I, like even talking to you, I'm just like, wow, you're just so easy to talk <laughs> yeah. to. You know, you're just never sure yeah. when it's somebody that you like that much. And and I thought he was really a terrific guy. And I'm curious too because my family's from Marblehead, Mass. How did you guys go from Cleveland to Boston? Because I know that radio in Boston actually helped you guys get your first kind yeah, of kick, lot. right? Yeah, they did. Uh huh. Well, Ben and I were in. Uh... Ann Arbor, Michigan, and we had a band there called Leatherwood, uh, <laughs> and uh, it, was, it wasn't very long we were there. We were there for about four or five months, and we stayed in Ann Arbor and played with, actually, we opened for the MC5 and, and Iggy. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that was an outdoor gig. <laughs> so that, that was but, a big deal for you, I'm sure. That's cool. <laughs> well, for us, we thought we were like, you know, with the superstars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we just, you know, we didn't have a band was you know, sturdy. So we went to Boston because it was partly because I thought they had a pretty good folk scene and we could play acoustically in a lot of the places there, just him and I. Ah. And uh, so we went there to do that. And we did do that for probably a year and a half. We were playing pretty frequently in, in these little clubs, these little acoustic clubs and playing their own songs and everything. And then we started a band in Boston. Actually, let's see, one, two. Well, we had Milkwood. Milkwood. <laughs> and then we had uh, Richard and Rabbits. And then we had <laughs> Captain Swing. Um, and then the Cars. And uh, all those bands had one or, one or more of the Cars in it until we just coagulated everything into us five. And, uh, yeah, the and WBCN loved, they heard our demos and Max Hans heard her, her, her demos and started playing those on the radio. On, and that was a big station. Yes. And uh, they were just, you know, they were free to play what they wanted. And uh, they they actually really, if it wasn't for them, I don't know. We were doing really well in the clubs. But I think that's why the radio station wanted to play. Because so, we were drawing a lot of people. And it was really shocking to us that we were drawing a lot of people. Because it was the first band where there 
was like lines around the block and we were going, what the hell's going on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing right? <laughs> Better not change anything. That's right. <laughs> but, uh, and then, you know, once they started playing that, then the liquor company started coming in like, well, you did so much right, especially being yourselves. The thing is, I, I can't even think of another band that's, well, I'm sure there are that if I really thought, but you were your own band that nobody sounded anything like yeah. you. You, uh-huh. it, you just came around at just the right time. Everybody liked to call it New Wave or whatever, but I was like, mm, no, this is yeah. just as. Yeah, I know. We thought that was funny too. It really, really uh-huh. wonderful. And we're both big fans.